Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today we are learning about part 8 which is focused on data types in MongoDB. It's important when we try designing and architecting our database schema. Uh, right? In MongoDB there is no schema as such but then we still consider the JSON key values as the schema right, of a collection. So whenever we try to design the keys, we have to start thinking the kind of values it will have. For example, if you are doing a student registration form, you might want to say the fees, right? It has to be integer. Or you can say the course category ID should be integer. The name should be a string, right? So these are the different data types that you have in mind before defining the collection key values. All right, so we'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. There are around 21 tutorials I've planned for you. Again, if you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section. I will try and help you as much as I can. All right, so today we are focusing on data types in this tutorial. Make sure you have seen all the other uh, episodes in order to continue your learning journey. All right, so let's talk about data types. If you are coming from any background, any programming background, right? Let's say C, C++, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, uh, .NET, anything. So you would find a lot of these things which you would have already used, right? You would have used JSON, right? If you have worked with JavaScript or TypeScript or Angular applications or Node or Express, you should know what is JSON, right? JavaScript object notation. It's a key value pair. That's how we use it. There is integer. Integer is nothing but whole numbers like 10, 20, 30. Boolean, another yet another important thing, which is true or false, right? 0, 1. So we use true or false to check, like for example, is user deleted, true or false. Purchase completed, true or false, right? Uh, Opt-in for emails, true or false, right? So these are the values you set for Boolean values. Now double, right? It's like float, if you can think of. Double is nothing but nearest two in, uh, decimals, right? Like say if you're talking about tax or salary calculation or tax calculation or anything that requires numeric uh, work processing, which requires floating numbers, right? So that is double, which can have 0 0.00, 0 0.12 like that. Arrays, obviously, um, it's nothing but um, any uh, array that it can be supported. It can have multiple arrays inside it. Yes, that's supported. So you can have an array inside array. That's totally fine. However you want it, it's just an array for MongoDB. Object, obviously we know that collections is, is nothing but a, uh, we can have objects type which can be used in collection as a value. Null, um, it's again a, a key which does not have any value, right? Is called null. Don't con get confused with empty or a blank uh, empty string or with null, right? So that's important that you should know um, that what is the difference between null and empty string. This is obviously asked in interviews, so make sure you know and understand the difference. Null means there is no value. Empty string means that there is a value which is empty. Then date, right? So date is yet another important uh, thing when you want to do processing, like when was it created, when was it updated, who deleted, when was it deleted. So this is extremely critical information. So timestamp, right? So this is uh, addition, which um, which is extremely critical, not necessarily supported by uh, JSON, JSON data types, but it's an addition in MongoDB, right? Which is timestamp. Then there are some specific to MongoDB, right? So I didn't cover BSON, we, I didn't cover object ID because these two are extremely and timestamp which are specific to MongoDB. Rest everything are available in your JSON or in other programming languages. So let's understand talk about that little bit. So so usually what happens JSON based databases right will usually return you query results which can be effortlessly processed right. Um, they, are, they are sent you um, see anything remember this way let me I'll explain this with notes right. So Remember, let me make notes here since we are continuing, right? So BSON and JSON, these are two important things that you should know in MongoDB. So JSON we know, right? It's nothing but it's key value pair, right? So you'll have name and this is say, right? So you have key and value. You can have any number of keys followed by comma and then you can say address and you can 
say go on mobile address go on so forth right so this is a json object now bson what happens is this json is pretty easy right it's easy to parse easy to render right and most modern browser applications right most browser programming languages most uh, languages um, support a lot of operations that can be easily uh, manipulated or transformed using uh, which can transform json object right it's easy to parse process and render and do calculation and all that so we know json so i'm not focusing much on it let's talk about bson right what is bson right uh, you would have never heard of this because that's a mongodb data type right that's a mongodb data type to store and process data right so extremely important it, it means it's an extended version of JSON model, right? Which is providing additional data types, right? So it's nothing but it, think of it like a binary encoded value, okay? Think of it that way, right? If that makes sense to you. Binary encoded value, or I can say binary encoded JSON is called BSON, right? That's how you should define it when someone asks you. So what is BSON? It is nothing but it is same as JSON, but it is binary encoded and it has some extended data types which are which are not supported by json right now obviously if you are attending an interview the the immediate question that comes to you is what are those data data types that are not supported by json so data uh, so date is not supported by json timestamp is not supported by json right object id is not supported by json these are additional in mongodb right so these are additional mongodb data types and that's what makes mongodb much powerful because your data type is binary encoded data and it has additional data types which makes it very very easy for us to work right and it increases the performance it increases the uh, security of the application all right I hope now it's clear uh, the data types to you. Uh, if you have any doubts, just drop them because going forward, we will be using it for our application, live application that I'm starting in next episode. So we will use these uh, data types extensively. So I will cover all the examples right there, right? I hope it's clear to you. In the next episode, we'll start with insert documents. That's where we'll start using data types along with our collections and database. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you are, just give a like to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, drop in in the comment section. Thank you so much for your love. Keep those comments coming in. Thank you so much again.